Okay, some proposed improvements to the daisy here, and basically I've stacked another layer on top. This layer's got a, a single skin this time, and if you're going to be putting subsequent layers of single skins on, what I've gone for here is using the bridling of the single skin to attach to the top leading edge of the kite below. Now, when you one thing with single skins, they're, they're pretty bad for his front edge collapse, um, unless you've got that little rib uh, sewn in there. To avoid that, you could use you know layers above pulling up the the leading edge of each single skin that's on the layer below. I flattened off the profile of the rings here. The curve profile was hard to sew, and I don't think it added much to the. It didn't add anything to the performance. I don't think. Between the two outer rings here, I've set the tethering slightly angled, and if that's not in tension, it can allow the kite to fold forward. If the that line is in tension, it should sweep this backwards, should set that kite slightly back, uh, making it more prone to inflating. So the green kites you see up top there, they've got uh, a bit more sweep angle, they're slightly more swept back than the yellow one, the orangey ones on the layer below, and that stops compressing this front edge as we had here. The new, that new line there, I think you'd probably want a bit of a web in the front of each of these so that you're avoiding quite so much uh, chance of compression there. However, the, the vector of that is straight down and not so much to the side. You might also want sorry for running around so much, um, a bit of web in here and I flatter than the the ring there but very much more on the inside so on the pole just ahead down to there if you've got that you have a stiffness that you're able to impart to the kite to keep it propped outwards for lulls and stop it deflating